Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we will be reviewing an item from 2014. And this is a throwback to IDW Generations Scoops. Yes, we are reviewing an Autobot Target Master, but he's a double Target Master Autobot. Before we look at the figure itself, we're going to look at the packaging. Some really nice product shot of Autobot Scoops. Scoop, that's literally his name, so he's an Autobot. Transformers 30th, 2014. And this is an anniversary set. Autobot scoops and a bio, if you wish to read it. Then we get a product shot of, of Autobot scoops in his robot mode. And his target masters in their robot modes. Nice Autobot insignia. Transformers Generations and a tech specs which they included with with these old school figures and that's all there is to say for the packaging next we're gonna be looking at the comic book yes the, these figures came with IDW comics I like the comic art of Autobot scoops and since he appears in this comic, I can only read a little bit, so this is going to be a fun video to do, so. I know who that is. It's Metroplex. And I think I see Optimus and so many other Autobots. I see the Dinobots. I see Ironhide, and I think that's RC. Maybe. Optimus Prime and Rodimus. Nice. Brainstorm. Optimus. Ain't that cool. Oh, and that's Starscream. Oh, man. Does he look good? And Rat Trap. Ain't that cool. And I see Optimus with his faceplate sitting down with Rodimus and... Ultra Magnus having some Energon drinks. Ain't that particular? And I see uh, Autobot Swerve, and he's carrying some information or something or another. Optimus, Ultra Magnus, Rodimus. Oh, there's even Cyclonus. Oh, man. Talk about some G1 throwbacks for sure. We get a lot of throwbacks here. That is pretty cool. I don't, I don't know that guy, but I know that is Chrome Dome. Wow. A lot of throwbacks in this comic book. Who's that supposed to be? Ironhide in the cell? Or some other guy. I don't know a lot about IDW comics. And sorry I'm banging it on the table. But I do see Screamer. Yep, Armada Screamer. And Shockwave. Whoa, talk about. Interesting. An image of Megatron in holographic view. Man, that's sick. <laughs> Optimus again. I don't know that bot, but I think it might be Cyclonus again. And is that supposed to be Onslaught or somebody? If you know who that bot is, leave me a comment. We're on the last page and we see Soundwave. 
and I think Octane and Astro Train. Oh, this is a good comic. For sure. Good comic book from IDW included with this 2014 figure. And now we're going to look at Scoops himself. He rolls very well for a figure of his old school class. Now we're going to compare him with another Target Master figure. Here he is with my original Generations Cyclonus Target Master. Nemesis Prime Target Master. And that's all there is to say for regular comparisons. And I also have a couple Siege Target Masters. Ain't that cool. But now we're going to get down to Transformation for the little Target Masters. Which are very simple. You split these arms open, flip down the barrel, and there you got a little Target Master in his robot mode. They don't have any bend at the knees, which is a real letdown with this set. That is probably the only nitpick I have here. But otherwise, these, these are really well painted, I will say. And now we're going to transform Autobot Scoops into his robot mode. Disconnect his arms, like so. Fold up his robot mode chest. Fold down the legs. This is a very easy transformation. Flip down his feet. Straighten out his backpack, like so. Making sure to make it go flat against his back. Flip out his hands. And this is a throwback review to anyone who has heard of these 2014 figures. I have because I've seen MGO review these things when they first came out. But now we're going to get down to robot mode comparisons. Here he is with IDW Trail Breaker or Trail Cutter. And of course, IDW 2014 Tankor. And also 2014 Nemesis Prime as soon as I can get him into his robot mode. Come on, Nemesis. <laughs> Work with me here. And here he is with Nemesis Prime. I am Nemesis Prime. I couldn't help the impression, okay? I just couldn't help myself with the impression. And finally, with yours truly, Cyclonus. As soon as I can transform him off camera. You're up, Cyclonus. For review, Cyclonus. And I have a lot of fun on my channel. Because this channel is all about having fun, enjoying the transformations and getting down to the good details on how to transform these figures. That's what the spirit of this channel is all about. Having fun. That's what I consider this channel for me. And it's a good way to learn about old figures. Both new and old. If I had to rate these bots, I'd give them a 10, a 5 out of 10 for accuracy.
But there we got Cyclonus. Now we're done with the uh, other IDW comparisons. Now we're going to show everybody off with their Target Masters. And Scoops fell over on the job. Here's Nemesis and his Target Master. Spinister. Cyclonus and his Target Master. Nightstick. And this is a reference to the episode where the Autobots and the Decepticons are on Nebulos. And they get Target Masters and Headmasters. That's a good reference. But now we're going to transform these into the double Target Master weapons. Which is very easy and very cool. First we're going to connect this to, to the peg. Where is that peg? Aha! And we're going to look at the box to see if we got it right. And yes, we got it right. And now we're going to have Scoops wheeled in his Target Master Transformer. They've got the power to surprise. And I couldn't help that G1 reference. And here we got the three Target Masters of the Autobots and the Decepticons together. You're probably wondering, where did I get this Target Master Scoops figure? Well, I got it from Amazon for 14 bucks. Is he worth adding to your collection? Yes, if you like Target Masters, pick him up. You won't regret it. And he'll go good with your Cyclonus on the shelf. Target Master Cyclonus. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out.